Right, the next from Stand Down is a 2 mile 6 handicap hurdle for 5 yards and up. It's a 0 to 90 handicap. 1 is Anna Capri, Stu Gray. 2 Kelly Kiss Angel, Padre Kogan. 3 is Dustin Castle, Obi Wan. 4 Pepe Militrian. Uh, Darren French and five is native tongue Obi Wan. Those are the five horses in this two mile six handicap yard sand down on the good ground. As we wait for the starter to let them go, and then away they go with the two Obi Wan horses taking it up. Native tongue leads from stable companion Distant Castle. Then comes Peppy Militron and there's lighter, ye there's lighter yellow colours with a purple cap and white steeds for Darren French. The yellow colours with a black cap that's Ella Kiss Angel for Patrick Hogan and Anna Capri is the black colours for Stu Gray. Going to stand out in this field with all the yellow coloured horses as Native Tongue leads them for Obi Wan from stable companion Distant Castle. The purple cap and yellow purple cap and yellow colours that's a um, Pepper Militron for Darren French. The black cap with the yellow colours is Ella Kiss Angel for Padre Hogan. As they jump the next at the back of the field is Anna Capri for Stu Gray. So Native Tongue takes him along for Obi Wan, but four lengths clear of Ella Kiss Angel in second. Uh, in between horses behind that is the stable companion of the leader, that's Distant Castle with Pepe Militron on the rail for Darren French. So jump the next at the back of the field. Anna Capri was slightly slow of their jump. So Native Tongue the leader for Obi-Wan in this handicap hurdle about four lengths clear now maybe about five lengths clear of Ella Kiss Angel in second stable companion of the leader distant castle back in third always beating on the rail behind that is Pepe Militron for Darren French behind that is Anna Capri for Stu Gray about eight lengths off this leader native tongue who takes him along from Ella Kiss Angel in second for Patrick Hogan Distant Castle on the outside of Ella Kiss, uh, Ella Kiss Angel. Then comes Pepe Militron, who's on the inside of Anna Capri as they come down the home stretch for the first time, with Native Tongue taking them along up the home stretch this time around. Let's jump the next, which I think will be the last next time around. It might be the second last of the two furlong pole we come to now as Native Tongue leads from Ella Kiss Angel. Distant Castle behind that, followed by Anna Capri. And then comes Pepe Militron at the back of the field. So Obi-Wan's na native tongue jumps what will be the last next time around. They go past the stands, about to head off on their final circuit. And it's native tongue, the leader, from Distant Castle in second. Stable companion, then comes LA Kiss Angel for Patrick Hogan. Followed by Anna Capri and Pepe Militron at the back of the field. So native tongue for Obi-Wan sets off on their final circuit leading. From Ella Kiss Angel in second. Distant Castle, that one's outside. Then comes Anna Capri. And at the back of the field is Pepe Militron for Darren French. He has made hay in uh, these races. We won a lot of low rated handicaps this season. Plays his horse as well. So, Native Tongue Leader for Obi Wan from Distant Castle in second. Ellen Kiss Angel on the rail for Padre Gogan, who's having a good season. He's had a lot of winners as well. Anna Capri in the dark colours for Stu Gray. And behind that is Pepe Militron for Darren French. It looks on from the rear, about eight lengths off this leader, Native Tongue. So Native Tongue in those yellow colours leads from Distant Castle in second. Ella Kiss Angel on the rail in the black cap and yellow colours. The black colours on the outside is Anna Capri for Stu Gray. So to pack up the field, um, the back of the field is, is Pepe Militron. So this leader not so far clear now. Native Tongue only about three lengths clear of Stable Companion Distant Castle as it jumped the next. And Distant Castle jumps it really well. Moves up onto the hind quarters of Distant of the leader Native Tongue. They're followed by Anna Capri in third. Then comes Kelly Kiss Angel and Pepe Militron. No move from that at the back of the field and still going really well at this stage. Made no effort and only got about within five lengths off this leader Native Tongue. So the past the seven furlong pole and native tongue leads from distant castle. Ella Kiss Angel is in third, but this Peppy Militron is travelling really well. He's at the back of the field but going smoothly. He's only four lengths off this leader with Anna Capri just ahead of him. It's Native Tongue, the leader from Distant Castle. Up on the rail is Ella Kiss Angel. Then comes Anna Capri. In between horses there's Peppy Militron still going well. Dubby pushed along to try and prove, but it's still native tongue in front from a uh, distant castle. Ella Kiss Angel on the rail. Peppy Militron is being 
getting past to improve now and he's starting to gain ground on the leader and a Capri at the back of the field. It's Native Tongue from Stable Companion Distant Castle. Then comes Pepe Military who's moved up into third followed by Ella Kiss Angel and Anna Capri behind that. Now Native Tongue tries to kick from the front Distant Castle in second but here comes Pepe Military for Darren French travelling strongly. Native Tongue in front but Pepe Military is all over this Native Tongue and Pepe Military has come to the front for Darren French and Darren French is Pepe Militron draws level with Ele Native Tongue and quickly goes on by. It's Pepe Militron who jumps the next well from the second Native Tongue, then Distant Castle, followed by Elikis Angel who hasn't picked up, nor was Anna Capri. And it's all Pepe Militron running away with us for Darren French. And it's another winner for Darren French, who really has placed his horse as well. He's well clear of Native Tongue in second, jumps the last well. And Pepe Militron from last to first has gone seven, eight lengths clear. Elikis Angel is running on when it's all over. But Pepe Militron wins really comfortably, hard held in the end. Going to win comfortably by about a diminishing six lengths, but hard held when he does that. Pepe, Kelly Cassandra was the second, Anna Capri was third, Native Tongue faded a fourth, and Distant Castle was fifth. But another winner for Darren French has really placed his horses really well. And this one wins by a wide six lengths from uh, Anna Cassandra in second for Patrick Hogan. And a Capri was third for Stu Gray, a native tongue in Distant Castle with fourth and fifth.